basically just trying to uh, get this bike lubed up here. So while we're doing that, here in uh, Sydney, Australia, just waiting to, uh, I'm out here in Paddington, Oxford Street. I was just checking out a Cannondale Super 6. And uh, Cam uh, Natasha's coming over and we're gonna go to swim in Bondi. So it looks like this isn't working, maybe. Maybe it's working, maybe it's not. I'll just keep talking to myself in the park until we get a question. I'll know, it's, I'll know I'm reaching some people. Otherwise, uh, I'm just a crazy dude in the park. Live chat. So the change of way we go. Geraint, Geraint's first. If you got any questions, gang, let me know. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it, really? If I turn it, if I spin the pedals, we're gonna uh, drop this fly. <laughs> Actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a bit of tripod system and I'll come back. Um, but yeah. But then, yeah, I, I'm just, let's just do five minutes then. And then, if you got any questions, we'll bang them out. But today, we're, uh, I'll show you the bike I'm riding. It's a CAD 7. Cannondale, got this for about $300, 300 or $350. Uh, it's got a 105 group set, I'll take it around. It's, it's in very good condition um, for its age. You know, the Mavic Axioms, they're quite a strong wheel set. It's hard to bust those up unless you're being reckless uh, or just, you know. These, these, they, these do last quite a long time. The free hub body, you can replace pretty easy as well. Can I be 45, 105, 10 speed, 5700 group set. And a little BBD bag there, and a Brighton 310, 330. But yeah, it goes well, laid back seat posts. Uh, if you are having any neck pain on your bike, try experimenting putting the seat all the way back and that will de-weight the bars and uh, you'll have less tension in your neck. But uh, anyway, crazy dude in the park. They look even crazier. And the guys, cars make you fat. Cars make you fat. Today I want to use some lube on this bike. This is the squirt lube. This is what I recommend. You got your chain waxes and stuff like this. This is a wax based lube and it just works really good. This is the e-bike version and apparently it's better for uh, high pressure friction modifiers in there. Hopefully not too carcinogenic, but uh, I didn't check that actually. The other squirt is definitely safer than chain wax in terms of cancer causing ingredients. But uh, it's just very easy to apply. I just give the chain a clean of the rag. I don't even want to degrease it. You know, like, I mean, degreasing is ideal, but I don't have degrease today. And it's dry. This chain's dry, so let's get it going. But if you polish the chain good enough, you can, uh, you can do a good job of cleaning it. Again, we're, this is bicycles. We're not doing brain surgery, okay? This whole sterilization of the chains. <laughs> That's just verbose, uh, verbose tactics to get more sales. On, the, on those uh, expensive wax chains. Overpriced wax chains, I should say. Overpriced wax chains. Squirt loop, boom. Keep it up going. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any questions, gang, it'll hit me up in the comments. Hit up in the comments. Uh, now for those people in England, actually, we'll do, I'll do a little tour. I'll do a little tour, actually. We'll switch the camera around. All right, here we go. This is, uh, this is my bike setup in the tree. I just pulled over the side of the road, got my bag down there. Someone's got some rings in the park here. That's pretty cool. It's a good thing no one's cut them down. Get some car or someone cut them down. And this is just Central Parks to my right. And this is a street in Australia. There's some gum trees here. Hey, mate. And uh, this out here, this is 99 Bikes in Bondi Junction. Some cyclists riding past there. Can we even zoom in on a live stream? Oh, damn, you can zoom in on a live stream. That's pretty cool. Damn. So that's 99 Bikes where we bought the squirt loop from. Bondi Junction. A yeah, beautiful day here in uh, Sydney, Australia. I don't know how people live here though. It's compared to Adelaide, it's so hustle bustle. The traffic is, if you have to drive a car, the traffic is so slow here. It's so slow. The bicycle, I've ridden from Harrelson Park. It took me like, I mean, like 20 something minutes to get here. It's just so much faster than the, uh, than the car. Let's go back to the, the bike, the bike workshop in the trees. It's nice breezy here. Nice and breezy. But these CAD 7s are great, man. I, I really like them. I've got quite a low seat height on this bike because this saddle sucks. So I've just lowered the saddle and I just take the pressure off. But I, I, don't, I don't have my normal saddle on here, so. So you can make little mods like that. And by lowering the saddle, putting the saddle right back, it's taken away off my neck. I have a bit of a sore neck at the moment. All good. But that's the good thing about these bikes is they're easy to do custom fix on there. All right, so questions here. Um, is Bondi still riddled with, ne with needles? I think they clean the beaches. They clean the beach 
in Bondi. Um, yeah, I bought four candles, melted them up. Yeah, he used candles for chain wax for sure. Uh, the chain, uh, the Cane Creek wax. Uh, sorry, the Cane Creek wax. I had too much nullable white last night at the party. Uh, Cane Creek brakes. Are they any good? The EE brakes? Yeah, they're, they're good. Good, man. All the money. It's just like, if you're like me, you don't have any kids and you've got money to fly around like that, then yeah, they're, they're, yeah, it's what you do when you're a weight weenie. But otherwise, yeah, they're fine. But just get some Shimano brakes are fine. You know? No one's getting dropped because their brakes weren't good enough or light enough. Okay. Uh, you're good at how to kill the madness. Thanks, David. Is Bondi, uh, they clean the beaches every day. I see so many anti sugar YouTube channels. Yeah, for sure, man. That's why if you follow the money, the anti-sugar thing, it gets people driving more cars, it gets people riding less bikes, it gets people eating more fat, it gets people eating more chocolate, you know, to get their sugar in. And so you just follow the money and then people get sicker and fatter, they spend more money, they go to the doctors more, they, they go to the car dealership more, they go to the petrol station more, they go to the e-car stuff, it just generates more income. Anti-sugar generates more income, right? The less sugar someone eats, the fatter they get because they just eat more fat to make up for the lack of sugar calories. Um, if you could only have one bike for the rest of your life, which one? Damn. Good question, man. One bike for the rest of my life. Well, yeah, come on. Um, I'm going to say two bikes. <laughs> I'm going to say a hardtail cross-country mountain bike for the dirt. And I'm going to say a specialized Roubaix S-Works. Or oh, it doesn't matter if it's an S-Works, but a specialized Roubaix rim brake as the all-round road bike because it has that tall stack height if your neck's a bit cooked. It has super lightweight bike feel, rim brake. For just that blistering acceleration vibes when pushing watts. Uh, so you specialize with bay, yeah, any of them, SO123 or 4, rim brake, of course. Uh, so that's what I'd choose. And for a mountain bike, hardtail, hardtail, like a Merida Big Nine, really nice. Or an, an old specialized Epic hardtail, they're really good as well. Um, but yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'd choose. Or Trek Superfly, something like that. You know, Hardtail, because dual suspension. It, it, I mean, you don't need dual suspension. I should do a downhill runs, really. Or well, 24 hour races, I guess dual suspension is good, but otherwise, it's just like a, something I actually maintain. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do. Do I use any vitamin supplements? Yeah, I've experimented with them all, man. I've, I've experimented with all the vitamin supplements that I can think of. You know, I'd say the most important ones for athletes, regardless of your diet, is vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. In Australia, we have a massive vitamin D deficiency because everyone's wearing sunscreen. Everyone's wearing sunscreen and covering up. And I cover up when I get sunburned, but I very, very rarely use sunscreen. Like today, we're going to the beach and the UV is high. Like Australia, we don't, have an, we don't have much of an ozone layer left, so that UV kicks in pretty bitey. So I've got, I've got Natasha bring me a long sleeve shirt and I'll have something over my head, you know, and then I'll be, I won't get sunburned. So that's okay. But so you got to get your, uh, get your vitamin D for sure. Uh, the Allen crew, Allen screw on my cat eye keep, keeps getting stuck. I don't know what you mean exactly, man. Uh, stuck, is it bent? Have you bent it? I'm not sure exactly. I don't have to see it in real life. Pro bike commuter, I thought you'd say the Amonda. Yeah, yeah, hip, there you go. The Amonda, yep. Amonda. You know, um, yeah. I mean, you know, like, the Amonda has a little bit less stack height. But, uh, yeah, the Mondo Roubaix, uh, either one, Rom Monda, I almost said Romonda, a Monda Roubaix, Domane, one of those three I'm happy with. But the Amonda and the Roubaix are just a bit lighter than a Domane. So yeah, it's, uh, those tall stack height bikes, you know, for when you're not feeling slam set up, because uh, your posterior chain's maybe a bit tight. So if your posterior chain is tight, meaning your muscles that go down your back and your legs and your glutes and hamstrings, etc. If your posterior chain is tight, then a real slam aggressive setup is not going to be the best thing for you because you won't be getting more tight. Okay, so loose is better. Um, thoughts on Brian Johnson trying to reverse aging? Get a vasectomy, don't have kids, <laughs> and go to bed at eight o'clock. Tarmac SLA, yo. Vitamin D3, yeah, vitamin D2, D3, do it all, mate. Just get them, you, you need to do vitamin D, D injections. I know, I know a lot of athletes do vitamin D injections. 600,000 IU intramuscular injection. I've never done one of those. I'll get one, I'm done, and I'll try it and see how it goes, but yeah. 
vitamin D injections are very popular uh, in athletics. Um, Jonas Vinegard missed the doorbell for a drug test. I think that was a big mistake for Jonas to actually talk about that. That's gonna, that's, you know, like, don't, if you're, a, you know, if you're doping, don't talk about it, all right? It's, don't talk about missed tests because people just run with that, okay? Um, people make jokes about it and stuff. So it's just bad. I mean, who's, his, who's, J, who's JB's PR? You know, don't talk about it. Don't give me any material I can talk about because now we're talking about it. Now we're talking about it, okay? So if you're trying to cover something up, don't talk about it. Um, is Shram Red Mechanical any good? It's fucking awesome, bro. It's the lightest group set ever. Shram Red Mechanical, the lightest group set ever. Um, yeah, Shram Red is great. Just go click, click, click. Sauna, just, no, I don't make saunas, just go and exercise. Unless you've got like a really, really tight muscle and you can't exercise, you can't move, then yeah, sauna can help you relax a bit. But again, yeah. Stretching yoga, excellent, do it. If I go to bed at eight o'clock, what time am I waking up? I'm waking up when uh, my balls are getting sucked on. Um, I'm waking up at like 5 a.m., man. You know, I'm getting it done. So, and that, that's no alarm clock. I don't, I don't use an alarm clock to wake up. I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm bouncing out of bed. Like, let's fucking go, man. Let's go, all right? Or if the girl's in my bed, it's like, let's blow. Um, yeah, so that's definitely, uh, let's go. Let's go or blow. Uh, when I travel with my bike, do I haul your chain lube, thread grease, wrench, etc.? Yeah, I just have a bottle of squirt lube and a little multi tool for sure. But remember, carry on. Uh, 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 you got to check this in. You're checking luggage and your multi tools. Check in luggage. You carry a tool on carry on, they'll confiscate it typically. Vasectomy life, my key to sub 240 marathon. Oh, yeah. Best life ever. Best foods to eat when training mood tie. Are you trying to gain weight? If you're trying to push up through the weight classes, then bacon, eggs, meat, milk, dairy, intermittent fasting, all those things that make you just gain heaps of weight. If you're looking to maintain, stay lean, Bruce Lee body, rice, fruit, sugar, you know, potatoes, beans, corn, quinoa, all the things that I recommend. So it depends what you what you're trying to do. Have, if you want to have maximum power in your punches, refined white sugar. And what the pros do, anabolics. So, yeah. How much time do I spend on my bike? Go to my Strava. Go to my Strava and you can see the last 14 years of training data. 14 years of training data. On my bike. December 2009. 14 years of training. All my running, all my riding. Unless I'm on an e bike. It's going to be uploaded to Strava. Or unless it's under 2K ride, it's going on Strava. So, yeah. Um, I was shadow banned. I, I was, I've been shadow banned probably since 2016. Um, you should go to my Instagram. I'm, I'm getting mad. Yeah, but yeah. High fructose corn syrup. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, sugar's, be sugar's better. Sugar's is better than high fructose corn syrup. Sugar's better. Starting running at 40. Trash my knees. Um, to start with jogging watch my videos about jogging and running okay and stick with the bike be a shadow band it's a part of the deal you know? black friday deals this year bike industry is in trouble for sure card the fuck up videos give me more context we can do more of those i lost 11.5 kilos of bananas and sugar and we still have to do a physical job you can't just do a physical job on my protocols you, you do a better job when you you know you do a better job on my protocols you make more money um, 10k running training for 50 minute time currently 55 minutes 80% in zone one um, just do more just do more 5k time trials 5k time trials every week if I mark out a 5k road loop boom once a week hit it hard as hard as you can with a good 10 minute warm-up and look at check your hemoglobin levels hemoglobin gang hemoglobin 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 is the name of the game all right but again maybe your hemoglobin is good but you do fuck all training so you, you know it's, it's both training and hemoglobin, okay? If your hemoglobin is good, can we do more training? If you do enough training, what's your hemoglobin at? So it's, you know, both of those are going to help you. More training, more hemoglobin. Well, I should say enough training because you're not going to do too much. But that's, you know, join my coaching group. I can, I can coach you through specific um, 14 years tracking rides. 
Uh, I have depression. Do my protocols, you won't anymore. Might have it for a couple minutes a day, that's about it. If you have depression, people, if you have depression, do my protocols, all right? Do my.com, get my ebooks, do what I say in there. Join my coaching group if you want that full therapy, deep dive stuff. No therapist are gonna tell you what I'm telling you, all right? They don't really care like I do. They just wanna take money and just parrot out whatever's been going trending, all right? I tell you exactly what you have to do. So you have to worry about thinking about what to do. You just do what I say and you crank it, man. Do I look depressed? You know what I mean? Look at my lifestyle. All right? <laughs> look, if you like my lifestyle, my freedom, I wake up every single day and do whatever the fuck I want to do. I live a better quality life than billionaires do. How many billionaires have the freedom I have? They got way more money, way more material shit. That, do they have the freedom I have? Well, not many of them do anyway. Because um, when you're that rich, you got a lot of responsibilities. So, yeah. Best bike brand today. They're all shit. <laughs> I mean, the big brands, the best. There's no, there's no good bike brands anymore at the top. They're all just producing shit. The Cannondales, the Specialized, the Trex, the, the stuff, the wing space, the old wing brake stuff. That's good shit. Back in the day. Uh, doctors. I mean, most doctors told you to take the experimental medication in the last couple of years, which caused heart failure and heart degeneration in a lot of people. So why would you follow someone who's telling you to do experimental medication? I mean, you can follow them, but take their advice with a pinch of salt because their track record's not good. They told you to take an experimental drug which caused heart disease and myocarditis in people who are otherwise healthy. So are they responsible? Are they just parroting social narratives to stay trending? Yeah think people think um but yeah what is my helmet it's an sh it goes 60 levels mr 60 levels spinning spinning's always winning bro spinning's always winning we're gonna do another uh i'll do one more question because i've realized my battery's getting freaking low it's on 17 percent and i've still got to have it for the rest of the year morning um all right all right thanks harry potter what advice would you give to a diabetic? I'm not one, but by the seven of my family, just watch my videos on diabetes. Uh, I've been working with diabetics since 2000 and introduced to the pharmacokinetics and the physiology and the, the biology, whatever you're gonna call it, of type one diabetes since 1999. Uh, my friend Scott, he introduced me to blood sugar, glucose meters, etc., and insulin resistance and insulin sensitivity definitions. And so since 1999, I've had a genuine interest on uh, you know how to increase insulin sensitivity, how to reduce insulin resistance, and my protocols. There's I don't think there's, there's no there's nobody. Neil Bernard doesn't touch what I get. Doctor McDougall can't touch it. Uh, in terms of diabetes, uh, man, I, I if you if you have a control group of a hundred people, and we all have that control group, I'm getting the best results versus Bernard or McDougall. And that's not me trashing them. They're just doing amazing work on some of the things they do. But uh, they just don't, they, they're, they're bound by certain industry biases and narratives, you know, they can't really tell people the full truth. You know, they, they gotta like dance around it a little bit. So I would recommend, Larry, that those people in your family do my protocols, watch the videos on that. But they won't do that, they won't do that because they love their bacon. They love their fatty foods, all right? They're not gonna do my protocols, okay? That's like 99% sure of that. And it's not because it's not my protocols are, are hard to do or impossible to do or require a great deal of discipline or money. They just, people's egos are so far, just so full on, they can't believe the solution's so simple. Right? They can't believe it. Plus, they don't want to give up the... Anyway, that's the deal. I appreciate all the support, gang. Uh, for some reason, I didn't check my battery this morning, I left. And uh, we're running a little bit low. Anyway, we'll uh, here in Sydney, Australia. Again, guys, cars make you fat. Cars make you fat. You know what I mean? Look at all that body fat dripping off me. <laughs> I appreciate support. And, uh,